Dear friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about an error related to array length. First, we have to understand that maximum allowable length of array is 2 raised to 32 minus 1. So, let us check examples to use array constructor to create array objects. Array constructor can be used with or without a new keyword. In both cases, it creates a new instance of array. So, here I declared a variable array 1. I used new key keyword with array constructed and given a single parameter. It is a big value. Now, let me run the file. Look at the terminal. Let array 1 is equal to new array of our big value range error invalid array length I run the file in node.js version 18.14.0 so I got the error invalid array length that means the single parameter which I pass to array constructor is considered as the array length of new instance of array when this value is greater than 2 raised to 32 minus 1, we got the error, range error, invalid array length. So, reason for this error is, uh, when we pass a single parameter to this array constructor, JavaScript engine will uh, take it as a array length of new instance of array. So, this value is greater than 2 raised to 32 minus 1, so we got this range error, invalid array length in Node.js environment. If we run this same code in any other uh, JavaScript engines, we will get uh, error related to this same meaning. Now, let me comment this line and uncomment the second line. Let array 2 is equal to new array of math dot power of 232. Here, I used a JavaScript built-in function uh, math.pow so uh, let me run the file first uh, let me clear the terminal let me run the file look at here let r2 is equal to new array of math.power232 we got the same error range error invalid array length that means we can give array length always equal or less than 2 raised to 32 minus 1. We should remember it always. Now, here in both cases, we used array constructed to create a new instance of array. Let me comment this line. Let me uncomment this line. Uh, let me uncomment this line. Here, I created a new variable array2 with literal notation. First, we used the constructor, array constructor to create array instance. Here, we use literal notation. Let me run this file. First, let me clear the terminal. Let me run the file. Look at here. This 0 comes from this line 10 array 3 dot length is equal to 0. So, we know that there is no oh, element in this array. So, length is 0. Now, look at here. Assign length of an array with the negative value. I am going to uncomment this line. Array 3 dot length is equal to minus 2. I am explicitly assigning the value of the length, length property of the array 3 with minus 2. It is a negative value. Let me clear the console. Let me run the file again. Look at here. We got 0 from this console. Then we got the error. Range error, invalid array length. So, now we found two points. First one is, even we give positive integer value, if the value is greater than 2 raised to 32 minus 1, we will get the error. Range error, invalid array length. If we assign length property of array, with the negative value, we will get the error, range error, invalid array length. Let me comment this line. 
let us check this one has seen length of an array with a floating point value let us check if we assign length property of the array 3 with a floating point value let me uncomment this line let me clear the terminal let me run the file look at here we got 0 from this line 10 array 3 dot length is equal to 12.25 we got the error range error invalid array length so we know that when we assign array length property with a negative value with a floating point number we will get the error range error invalid array length at the same day we have to check that if you assign an integer value which is greater than 2 raised to 32 minus 1 it will give the same error range error invalid array length i hope you understand it by this video you can study uh, many things first one is how to declare an array with literal notation like this how to declare an array with the array constructor using new keyword or uh, without new keyword you can declare an array with new keyword and without new keyword in both cases it create a new instance of array and we used javascript built-in method mat.power so and at the same time we understood that we never declare an array with floating point number as its length property or uh, negative value as its length property and we cannot declare, a, declare an array with uh, value greater than 2 raised to 32 minus 1. So I hope with this own video you understood these points. Thank you.